दिस इज लव जोहर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल माई सिंसियर थैंक्स टू ऑल माई फ्रेंड्स हुर माई न्यू चैनल सब्सक्राइबर्स नाउ हु हैव सब्सक्राइब टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल रिसेंटली एंड स्पेशल थैंक्स टू ऑल ऑफ माई फ्रेंड्स आउट देयर हु आर वॉचिंग माई वीडियोज थैंक यू एवरी वन सो दो ऑफ यू हु आर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम लेट मी गिव यू अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन एंड सम बेसिक्स अबाउट वाई आई एम पोस्टिंग दिस दीज वीडियोज एंड वाई आई हैव क्रिएटेड दिस यूट्यूब चैनल so for all of you out there who are trying to learn and study about ISO 27001 and want to implement information security management system uh, within your organization in the future as well or you are already in the, in the implementation part all of you are requested to subscribe to my channel because you will find all this information that i am sharing over here very useful and uh, i still remember the time when i started my study of ISO 27001 and ISMS around a couple of years ago I wasn't aware about what this information security management system was all about and trust me it was very hard uh, to google every small bit of information that I had to find out in order to uh, study more about this ISMS topic so since since is a very vast field and that's why it's not so easy to understand uh, but at the same time uh, I decided to learn all this information by myself and also decided that as soon as I will learn anything new in this field and in the security domain i will not keep it to myself and i will instead uh, share it with all of you out there in the information security field uh, with all of you so that you don't have to search everything on google and the answers that you are looking for are already in front of you at one single place so that's why i have created this particular channel friends okay. so in this particular training video we will try to understand what exactly is cryptography what exactly is cryptographic security controls all about and in this particular training video you will be able to answer the following questions after watching this uh, why do you need encryption why is encryption so important within your organization what is cryptography and why should we use it within our organization what are the different things that we need to be aware of while implementing cryptographic techniques within our organization for the first time and what are the different encryption algorithms out there and which one should you use within your organization so first of all before i open the fire hose of detail information about cryptography and encryption uh, first let's try to understand some basic definitions in order to help you along the journey of cryptography what exactly is it all about so cryptography is nothing but a process of converting any type of data data can be at rest data can be in transit or in motion in a form that only those people for whom it is actually intended for can under understand can uh, read that data can evaluate that data and no one else can do that no one who is unauthorized can do that so once the data is converted modulated or changed also known as cipher text in this case then no unauthorized users would be able to access this information as it will not be available in raw data form also known as plain text uh, which you will come to understand later so encryption uh, if you talk about encryption after that after understanding cryptography what exactly do we mean by encryption so encryption is nothing but the process of converting raw data which is a plain text information to a form uh, to another form a kind of modulated form called cipher text uh, that is not at all readable to any author unauthorized users so you have to decode this information first uh, this this cipher text you have to decode this cipher text first in order to understand the the raw data the, the plain text you have to decode the cipher text first and that decoding process is called de decryption so uh, till now we have understood three important terms uh, first one is cryptography another one is encryption and the third one is decryption if you are still not sure about these terms then go back rewind this video and watch again okay the other important term after that which comes uh, is called a key what is a key key is nothing but an input the input uh, can be data uh, any kind of input uh, data which is used to perform the actual process of encryption and decryption so it's is called a key and keys can be in two forms uh, so so these two forms will actually define your type of encryption mechanism which you will use so secret keys uh, when the same key is used both for encryption as well as for decryption process this this is also known as asymmetric uh, sorry uh, this is also known as symmetric uh, cryptography so secret keys uh, when same key is used both for encryption as well as for decryption process this is known as symmetric cryptography okay this is the secret keys uh, when 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 the you know same key is used for both encryption and decryption process these these keys are called secret keys and this type of cryptography is called symmetric cryptography okay and after that public keys uh, when public key is known to everyone let's say i have a public key and it is known to everyone it is in my web server and that key uh, i have made public to everyone but only those individuals who have the private key to that public key can decode that information and no one else okay 
so try to understand this again public keys when public key is known to everyone and private key is hidden so in this case everyone knows the public key of your uh, web server or, or of any confidential information which you have kept on your website uh, also known as uh, you know asymmetric cryptography technique in this particular uh, manner when you when you store public keys so both these types of keys and both these types of cryptography techniques can be used in cryptography okay so we have seen a couple of uh, cryptographic techniques which are used these days called symmetric cryptography as well as called asymmetric uh, cryptography so for any encrypted file to be decrypted a key needs to be communicated first and any key management procedures uh, you know that you 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 think you should be implementing you have to ensure that they are implemented uh, and the key that you are getting is trustworthy so keys need to be communicated securely and kept confidentially as well because uh, the confidentiality of the keys is very important in all the cryptographic techniques whichever key uh, whichever techniques which you, uh, will you be using okay so in today's world if you don't understand encryption then whether you know it or not uh, but i can tell you on your face that you are at a big risk okay if you don't understand encryption then you are unknowingly inviting hackers yes hackers who are there to steal all, all your business critical information hackers who deploy ransomware attacks hackers who deploy ddos attacks denial of service distributed denial of service attacks for those of you who are not aware so basically all the people who are unauthorized to get access to your information will easily be able to get complete access if your data is not protected with encryption so this is how much the encryption is important these days and this is the importance of encryption in today's world in today's era in which we are living and i hope i have your attention now so for your better understanding let me help you first in understanding why would you need encryption before going into the details of what exactly is encryption and cryptography all about so here are some of the key areas where you will have to use encryption and there is absolutely no way around it so the first example that we will take over here is let's say one of your corporate executives laptops got stolen or lost somehow and the hard disk is not encrypted and uh, can you imagine that what will happen in that case and uh, you know what will happen if that happens okay uh, let's say that the laptop is stolen uh, how much amount of critical data how much amount of critical information will be there in that particular hard disk uh, if it is one of your top executives so just imagine that kind of risk uh, if it is not encrypted the second example that i can give you up front is when your business uh, data is accessed remotely in an insecure environment in an insecure network from home let's say your organization users are trying to uh, vpn or remote in into your office without any proper vpn clients in place and only using some free internet uh, system or screen sharing softwares out there can you imagine what will happen in that case if if that if that tunnel gets established without any encryption in place can you can you understand the type of risk that you are exposed to while that uh, data transmissions happens okay so after that the third important example that i can give you over here for which uh, you exactly need to have encryption in place is let's say your company company's website is asking for your customer's credit card information and somehow the transactions are not encrypted can you even think what what exactly will happen in that case and uh, you know it, it will be, it will be very uh, bad if you don't have encryption on your websites let's say another example where your ceo's cell phone or let's say the ipad on which he was working uh, is is lost is stolen somehow and it contains business critical information so what will you do in this case do you have any procedures where you can you know uh, you know remotely wipe those uh, devices or things like that uh, you have to uh, basically understand the importance of encryption any form of e-commerce or confidential online transactions of any type uh, cannot happen these days without proper digital certificates and without appropriate cryptographic controls in place so this is how much uh, this is important in our in our uh, world in which we are living uh, these days so if still by now you are not clear why exactly we need encryption let me explain it again to you uh when, whenever your information is leaving your business campus or office premises be it online through web or offline through uh, removable media like pen drives hard disk etc but not limited to uh, you know any kind of uh, removable media removable media can be anything okay usb hard disk pen drive n number of things are there these days even on mobile devices anyone can uh, hack your data from your organization and you won't be having a clue about that so you have to have encryption applied on 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 these uh, measures on all these data which is traveling and all that data which you think is at rest but needs proper protection and there is absolutely no way around this fact you have to have proper encryption in place and i 
cannot uh, you know uh, you know make make sure that you understand this important fact that encryption is really important in today's era in which we are living so different cryptographic controls are implemented in order to achieve the following information security objectives now we must be thinking what exactly will we achieve if we will uh, implement all these controls in place so the first one the very important uh, the basic uh, principle for inf information security if you have followed me so far you must be aware that confidentiality is the number one principle on which the information security resides okay so confidentiality uh, let's say by using encryption for the information assets encryption can either be applied to data at rest or data in motion or data at transit so you're basically trying to make sure that your data is is confidential is meeting the confidentiality clause of information security depending upon your organization needs so that is the first clause that that uh, by using cryptography techniques you are meeting this clause the second clause of information security is integrity so by using encryption techniques at both the source and the destination in order to verify the integrity of data you are again meeting this second clause which is one of the major clauses of information security one of the pillars of information security i would say so the third important pillar of information security is non repudiation so this clause is, is easily met by using cryptographic techniques because no one can deny the occurrence of any information security events or incidents when you have implementing cryptographic controls within your organization as you can uh, then generate logs or evidences in order to claim these facts okay after that uh, the fourth important uh, information security uh, you know pillar or you know the basic uh, principle which meets if we use cryptographic techniques is authentication no one can access your encrypted information without supplying the authentication keys and as long as your keys are protected you are completely safe so again you are meeting one of the important security uh, principles for information security controls okay now uh, if we try to understand how exactly can we make sure that uh, which uh, encryption algorithms do we have to use because there are n number of algorithms these days out there so risk assessment plays a key role when we discuss about cryptography what i mean by that is based upon your previous risk assessments in the past that you have actually uh, you can actually decide which type of encryption should you use for your assets uh, risk assessment will actually help you in deciding which of your assets fall in which encryption levels and which encryption algorithms you should use for all those assets so all assets can't have the same type of encryption uh, you know applied to them so you have to use your due, due diligence as well as your past information security uh, risk assessment results in order to identify the situation and uh, these uh, risk assessment results will actually help you a lot in deciding which kind of encryption levels which you with which actually you will be applying on your assets so another important thing which comes to information security uh, when we talk about uh, cryptography and encryption it it comes to key management what exactly is key management so key management plays a key role here and uh, i have used i know that i have used the word key a couple of times here but what i mean by this is you have to implement some key management solutions in place because keys are very important as i've already discussed uh, in the in the previous uh, you know uh, in the in the previous uh, you know minutes that keys are very important if you have uh, if you are listening to me so far keys are very important and you have to have some kind of a key management solution in place within your organization for instances where the given keys were compromised let's say and were lost uh, somehow by the clients uh, to which you have given those keys so in such cases you should have some procedures to revoke the original keys since they are compromised and uh, you know you cannot use them again and can be you know misused by the uh, by anyone who is not authorized and you have to generate new keys in this case new fresh backup keys have to be generated in this case in order to tackle such security incidents if that happen and you also have to define only specific people who are responsible for key creation uh, key management task etc not everyone can be given access to the keys as they are the, as the keys these keys are the base of any uh, cryptographic solutions to work properly so as far as encryption algorithms are concerned there are n number of encryption algorithms out there like aes advanced encryption standard uh, two fish uh, blowfish rsa and triple des md5 hashing a number of things are there but since all these encryption algorithms are different and each of them have their own uh, technicalities and their own story so i will discuss them in another training video due to the heavy technicalities involved in each one of these algorithms so i hope that i am able to give you some uh, context about uh, cryptography and what is uh, encryption all about and how exactly can you use 
these two important methods or techniques within your organization and how can you get benefit out of these two techniques within your organization and uh, make your information secure which is the ultimate goal of all these uh, training videos and all these uh, things that we are putting out there so that your information is secure your information is safe and uh, it, it can't be fiddled away by anyone who is just coming to your organization and just uh, you know uh, trying to plug a USB key to any system and can just uh, you know take back any information with uh, him so you have to make sure that you have to apply encryption in all those areas which you think are important so the call is yours but it is really important trust me so if, if you want uh, any uh, more details just uh, put your queries in the comments below and I will be happy to respond back that's it that's pretty basically uh, it for this particular training video if you have any more questions that you would like to ask me then please feel free to uh, comment in this uh, comment section below this video and thanks for watching this video please make sure that you go through this video once again because as i always say repetition is the key to success so thanks again for watching this video guys this is love johar if you have any questions or concerns in terms of what i have discussed here then please feel free to comment below and i will be happy to respond back and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because as I always say ISO 27001 is a very vast topic and there are tons of more videos in the pipeline that I will be uploading here very soon. So if you will subscribe to my channel then you will be the first one to get notified about all these new videos that I will be uploading and you will be the first one in order to watch them. Thank you so much. This is Love Chor. Thank you. Bye bye.